fuck yeah, brother. Oh, nice. Yeah, good angle, brother. Oh, yeah, good form. All right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. Hey, nothing to... Not, hey, nothing, nothing at all to see here. All right, yeah. Fuck yeah. Nice. Oh, same angle? All right, yeah, all right, brother. Keep it, yeah, keep it going. Oh, still, still... One more rep. No, you had enough. Oh, it's fucking hetero. Does, does everyone here remember uh, the Golden One? Perhaps you know the Golden One as uh, ContraPoint, uh, Arch Nemesis, or perhaps Long Lost Lover. They seem to be star-crossed lovers in, in some ways. He's uh, he's basically a prominent YouTube uh, Nazi light, we'll say, uh, a proud Aryan who used to LARP around uh, in Skyrim and other games as uh, a Nazi, kind of, spouting a lot of gross ethno state shit anyways uh the name of this video is incredible kit piece swedish authorities claim my videos are homo erotic mm. exciting <laughs> open and shut case all right Nothing at all whatsoever could be seen other than strong heterosexual masculinity on display. All right, from the music to the particular flexing, there is nothing more hetero than this intro. Let's watch it one more time. Absolutely juicy, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on. Hey, where where my heteros at? Boys, boys, come on. I don't know about y'all. I want a cold beer, all right? I want a cold beer. I want to reminisce about 9-11 and titties. That's what I think. Cause that shit is juicy. Juicy, son. Absolutely juicy, <laughs> if anything. So I am quite certain that you're all... Tired of hearing me respond to various hit pieces since they're always about the same thing, but I thought to just, you know, flex a bit, talk about how great I am, and respond to the hit piece in the same video. Now, this hit piece is quite fun in the sense that, first and foremost, this is no joke. It cost the taxpayers one million Swedish crowns. That's about 100,000 euros. And also, if anyone Whoa. wants to even the score a bit, I do have a Bitcoin wallet if you want to support financially, if you think my work is better than their work. So the taxpayers had to pay $100,000, but you could settle the score by funneling it all to me? Wow, that's juicy. And also, the hit piece is labeled as a report. It's a report on right-wing extremism and potential terrorism. Now, I will just say something that makes it even more hilarious, and that is they accuse me of making homoerotic videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. That, what a gift. What a gift. I'm, I'm so happy about all of this, all right? Uh, from the fact that he was investigated, the, the fact that there's a taxpayer-funded Swedish report on far-right extremism, and they included him inside it. So that that all, just just delightful. But the fact that it's also because he's homoerotic. <laughs> oh, this oh, is there's a few things I want to add to the soundboard from this. It's a report commissioned by Swedish authorities. And... You know, I thought at least that homosexuality and homoerotic things were A-OK -okay with the Swedish establishment. But apparently, when someone they do not like makes homoerotic material, it's apparently wrong. So I ask you then, Swedish regime, Swedish authorities, Magnus Ranstorp, is there anything wrong with homoerotic material? Just a question for you all. Now, of course, there is nothing homoerotic with my training videos, but I understand that you view- But wait, no, you didn't, you didn't, wait, what? You're, you're kind of skipping it over it. Is there anything wrong with homoerotic materials? That's that's where you get to go, no, 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 no. But, you know, no homo, all right? Hey, come on. The rest of you get it, you know? I, I, you do you, 
you know, the libertarianism, uh, don't tread on me, do whatever it is you want to do in, in the safety of your own home, that's fine. The videos, you see young muscular men and you feel completely mugged. You feel mugged to the extent that you have to cope. You have to cope with your sense of inferiority. So you say to yourself, oh, haha, these men, they are homoerotic. That's the way for you to deal with the fact that you feel inferior when watching my training videos. You no, no, not at all. Because like, here's the thing. Uh, they're not inferior. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not a lesser than. It's not like because someone's gay, they're suddenly, they're suddenly not as great as you, as, as the proud ubermensch uh, of the master race. You know, if, if anything, I'd say they're more masculine. Gay is masculine. You know, if you want to make it a professional report, you shouldn't really talk about homoerotic video making. I mean, it's, it's not serious. I don't think anyone will take you more seriously for coming with these sort of accusations or an implied insult or whatever it is. I laughed at it because I know exactly the mental process. You know, an older man trying to be an expert talking about homoerotic videos. Uh, yeah. Truly pathetic, but for every time you make such mistakes, your gravitas and credibility is lowered. So all good for me, I don't really mind. And if you think my videos are homoerotic, yeah, you might um, you might have some homosexual tendencies yourself. If you are a regular straight man, you don't view them as homoerotic, you view it as training motivation, as is the intention. No, anyway. I really wish you would like cut to some of the shots like him just like flexing, greasing up, oiling. Let's see if we can find a couple of just to... I mean, let's, let's just get a feel for it. Fellas, it's not gay, is it? Fuck yeah, brother. Oh, nice. Yeah, good angle, brother. Oh, yeah, good form. All right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. Hey, nothing to... Not, hey, nothing, nothing at all to see here. All right, yeah. Fuck yeah. Nice. Oh, same angle? All right. Yeah, all right, brother. Keep it. Yeah, keep it going. Oh, still, still. One more rep. No, you had enough. Oh, it's fucking hetero. So every, everyone here is everyone here is in agreement. and there's nothing at all to see here. It's just 100% completely uh, hetero, hetero content. If, if you were to view this in any other way, uh, if you saw any kind of like, you know, sexuality to any of this, then clearly... I mean, that just in implies that, that you are trying to make fun of it because you feel inferior, uh, inferior to, to, to what you see before you. But yeah, there's, there's no way to ever misinterpret that. He's, he's right about that one. It's very embarrassing for you, Sweden. We're on to the more serious issue at hand here, and I've talked about this before. I'll talk about it again. The establishment, especially the Swedish establishment, the Swedish regime, is in a position where they are desperately, still to this day, in the year of 2020, they are still trying to portray a fantasy narrative where you have violent right-wing extremists who are a threat to democracy and society. Now, of course, this fantasy scenario, it's extremely important for them to portray. That gives them legitimacy. Now, of course, reality looks a bit different. And for me personally, and all other right-wingers I know in Sweden, we have for a long time, I have lost count how many times I've said this, I am against political violence. Why? Yes, because it's a mistake. That is what they are praying for every single day. It wouldn't surprise me. They go down on their knees, pray to God and ask for a right-wing lunatic to make some sort of violent act so they have an excuse to shut us all down. They are not afraid of violence. They couldn't care less if some minority group all right well first off yeah uh, i don't think you're ever gonna have a youtube channel and become prominent if you're gonna stand there and be like all right uh, and now a call to arms for the master race let us now conclude our glorious ascension is now at hand like no you're not gonna say that but even just the act like saying that you're gonna be apolitical about it while you espouse about how you are genetically superior to other races uh that <laughs> sorry but there's there's no such thing i mean you can't even talk about much of anything on the internet on the internet without it being political in one direction or another so uh, the fact that you choose a very hard direction and, and you're quite you're quite firmly established in that I, i'm pretty sure you're you're not covering your bases here they couldn't care less they care about their own power and what is a threat to their power is our metapolitical message metapolitical. that we can spread our view of reality because ah. it's more congruent with the actual reality mm. regular people they are afraid that their teenage daughters will get raped 
and that their teenage boys, their teenage sons, will also get raped and robbed <laughs> and humiliated. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, it's fuck. It's it's hard out there. I mean, Jesus, that's that's I, uh, every every parent I know. I don't know how many parents are in the chat right now, but I'm I'm pretty sure every single one of you is is that that's what consumes you. It's it's what you think about day in and day out from from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. Both my children at some point could could be raped. That's so so say it the golden one. That's the reality for Swedish families today, and especially after a summer full of this sort of attacks on Swedish youth. That is the discussion. That is the real discussion. So the establishment, the regime is trying to, you know, turn a blind eye to all of the young Swedish boys being beaten up and humiliated mm. and instead focusing on the vicious right wing extremists. And I'm so extreme for making training videos that are homoerotic, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so you see, they are desperately trying to still portray this sort of fantasy scenario. And they are also doing this because they know we will fight back. And the, re and the way they want us to fight back is to commit impulsive, aggressive acts of violence. They do not want us to fight back intelligently. Fighting back intelligently means lawfare. If you want to do something for Western civilization, become a lawyer, take the fight into the courtroom. And that is something that they are afraid of. You know, journalists, if they are not careful, and I will start doing this if I... If I can get someone on defamation, I will take them to court because I know that hurts them. They're not afraid of a um, crazy person going out killing someone. That's only more you know, juicy details for a uh, hit piece they can make and then they can shut down people. They're not afraid of it. They're afraid of getting taken to court. They're afraid of political parties. They're afraid of Swedes, for example, organizing politically or in organizations or in companies creating families, creating communities, presenting metapolitics, presenting culture, presenting a different narrative. Those are the things they are scared of. They're not scared of violence. So if you want to fight back, do it intelligently. Do not do it via violence, because that is what they're almost trying to prod us. Do something, do something violent so we can shut you down. And again, I've said it so many times that I'm against violence. They're still, to this day, trying to present us right-wingers as um, a violent threat but you know many people will see this video where i again say that i'm against violence they will continue to try to present me as a violent threat because they know i am a threat but not a violent threat i'm a threat to their view their narrative of reality and that's the problem so anyway again i have said many of these things before i do have some good regular videos you know self-improvement videos incoming and yeah i will be back with one of these responses in a few months or whenever they make a new hit piece and i will say basically and i will say basically the same thing and they will try to smear me in basically the same way they will continue to lie and if they don't keep their guard up i will sue them for defamation so keep that in mind dear journalists if you are trying to lie about me Anyway, thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day. XXO, boom! Absolutely juicy. Absolutely juicy. Absolutely juicy. Absolutely juicy. Absolutely juicy. Yeah, nothing to see here. Nothing, nothing more, uh, nothing more hetero than that display of. Neo-Nazism. Hey, we want to mutual aid you to get some eyeballs on your work. So if you have a leftist YouTube channel or Twitch stream or something you want us to advertise, just send us a 20 to 30 second ad using the forms at wearesurfs.com. We'll do our best to help you out. And please submit once per channel. To our God, I'm Rath. We pray at your altar of greatness. To our monarch, Thomas Bone, you are the light that guides our path. To our lords, Jeffrey Lamb, Trevor R., Stephen, Nine Tails Cosmic Fox, Hans Josephin, and Poppy Nelson, we bow meekly for your pleasure. To our knights of the round table, Josh Mickelson, Dylan Beith, Alexander Thaler, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, Clement Chetska, Sky Bear Games, Moss Beast, Political Puppy, Ali Menthol, Jimmy Big Nuts, 
Alan R. Andreas Chitoro, Good Poon Hates Cops, That's Solid Poon Then, Dr. Zayas, Joppy, Radaclu, Violent Orchard, and Sophie Baby, we salute you. And to our many merchants and farmers, thank you. Fuck you, Lance!